Bangladesh has seen an uptick in economic growth in the past few years, but have richer investment opportunities followed? Joining me down the line, Mr. Riaz Islam, managing partner of LR Global Bangladesh Management Company. Now, a significant portion of Bangladesh's economy is the export-oriented textile industry. Would you say that the strong growth is sustainable over the next five or ten years? The labor cost in Bangladesh is about one-fifth of China and about half of India. So that gives you a great idea in terms of the numbers of the export. Uh, you know, uh, I expect this to grow further. It's about 22 billion plus. So Bangladesh has reached a position in terms of value addition and basically has become a priority and a, and a choice uh, for the importers to uh, essentially having a manufacturing base in Bangladesh. What are the other industries that are likely to come to the fore in the near future? You have on one hand huge supply of, of labor, so essentially any kind of uh, manufacturing sectors will be very attractive and, and we see as a, as a high potential. The second thing is the consumer base. So essentially when you have per capita going from 700 to 1,000, all fast-moving sort of consumer products has huge potential, we believe. The third one, which is uh, somewhat related, is the infrastructure. With this growth, uh, with this GDP growth, there is a huge amount of infrastructure is actually required in Bangladesh. Bangladesh has done fairly well in the power sector, covering that gap, but essentially from airport, roads, highways, the port, and so on and so forth. We see anything related to that in terms of construction material related companies have huge potential, we believe. How mature is the investment management sector in Bangladesh? So the investment industry is actually very, very small uh, relative to the peer countries. And there are various reasons for that. If you look at the, uh, the market cap of the mutual fund industry, which is approximately 1% uh, of uh, the market cap and very, very small for uh, you know, a country like Bangladesh with a GDP of approaching 130 billion plus. Given the size of that uh, market, we see uh, substantial uh, growth potential, but Bangladesh is still a relatively new country uh, and uh, the debt is less, but we expect this industry to grow uh, significantly over the next few years. Now your client base includes local as well as offshore investors. Can you tell me what type of investments are the latter group looking for? Generally, you know, the offshore investors are, I would say, in terms of priority, most interested in the stock market because it's liquid and it's more transparent companies. Number two, uh, the fixed income market. Bangladesh recently has been rated uh, double B minus BA3 by uh, S&P and Moody's and we understand Fitch is also looking at it. And the spread that you get uh, for that taking that risk is, is substantial. The reason I say substantial, in our view, adjusting for certain factors, Bangladesh probably deserves uh, a triple B minus rating, which is in line with India in terms of actual raw fundamental numbers. Obviously, rating agency looks at other things. So. From a risk-adjusted basis, and if you look at the debt to GDP and other fundamentals, that we have seen substantial demand over the last uh, six months to maybe a year uh, once this rating kicked in. Where I think Bangladesh has the most, uh, the biggest opportunity, which is yet to be explored in a substantial way, is in the private equity market. The reason is the cost of fund is very high uh, in Bangladesh, and most of the projects and, and other initiatives are funded by banks. Recently, we have seen a few private equity funds coming in, uh, setting up their offices here, uh, and there are one-off investments that are done in conjunction with IFC and so on and so forth. But the highest potential, we think, is there, and we think it's in that trajectory in terms of opening up uh, that space uh, for uh, foreign investors uh, in the near future. How else can the Bangladeshi government work to create new international investment opportunities locally? You'll be surprised if you look at the laws on the book about foreign investments. Uh, it's Bangladesh is probably one of the best. You know, you can own 100% of, of a private company. The repatriation issues have been, I would say, about 95% resolved in terms of uh, dividend payout and taking capital out. But the problem or the challenge in, in a country like Bangladesh is coordination. Rates. Okay, so basically, central bank which manages the capital account and then you have uh, 
uh, the Board of Investment, uh, and then you have Ministry of Finance, and then you have the NBR, which is the uh, Revenue Collection. I personally believe there must be uh, more coordination among these uh, regulatory entities, and, and, and me as a, a foreign investor in Bangladesh would like to see one-stop shop so that these laws which are, or the rules, which are actually quite attractive, are actually functioning. You know, so my suggestion to the government and officials and the, uh, and the leaders will be that we have great laws in the book. Let's mobilize this. There is a great shortage of capital in Bangladesh, and Bangladesh to grow at an 8-9% rate will require substantial foreign investments. And I think fixing some of these issues will definitely improve the plumbing uh, to, to, to attract foreign investments. Korea, thank you so much. Thank you.